So uh, you're with Cisco. Let's let's talk about um, what is Cisco doing in this Internet of Things. Yeah, why is Internet Cisco here? Yeah. Space? yeah, yeah. So you know, Cisco was way out in front in understanding the impact of IoT on enterprise and public sector organizations. You know, we were talking backstage. So much excitement about the consumer applications, and there's lots of cool stuff going on. But you know, we see the impact and the mega trend that people are talking about is digitization, and we see the impact of digital business happening uh, in the enterprise in the public sector creating trillions of dollars of value uh, and as a as a big business we per, you know we're in the business of serving those customers and building what they want and uh, and so we see this as really being a, a market demand driven uh, activity for us and something that uh, dovetails well with our, our current business since we are in the business of connecting things excellent yeah and, and so what, what do you think a, a killer app is going to look like in this environment yeah, so we spent a lot of time uh, with with our customers, kind of working through uh, how to get how to get started. And you have to understand, the last 25 years of IT was uh, about the back office, and it was about ERP, and it was big Oracle databases, and so on. So this is really a, a brave new world for enterprise clients as they get into how to adopt this technology. Uh, these companies are busy; they have lots of things on their agenda, and so it's about breaking through that noise about creating the you know the, the killer app right we all know what that is whether uh, you know whether it's angry birds or uh, or, or VisiCalc, right what what are, what are those killer apps and uh, we you know we've been fortunate we've worked with a number of early adopters uh, give you a couple examples uh, Harley Davidson uh, their killer app was called HD one and uh, when they a lot of their uh, older clients are looking for a, not just a motorcycle off the shelf, but looking to customize uh, a motorcycle for themselves. So there's an end-to-end -end experience. It starts up front on the web with how you put that motorcycle together. But the big challenge for Harley was then, how do you take a, a traditionally tooled, you know, legacy manufacturing environment and turn that into something that could produce, you know, a unique motorcycle for every client? So they went in, did a, a big, big effort in the factory, and we're talking about a, you know a leapfrog of of 30 years here. You know, we're we're going from literally machines that are 20 or 30 years old, traditional factory processes, yellow sticky notes, clipboards, right, time and motion studies, to uh, a fully connected environment where uh, they can automate the environment, they can produce the, the the bikes for the customers, really drive new kinds of value. Um, you know, another, another example, completely different uh, application would be City of Barcelona. Uh, in the City of Barcelona, public service is public good, right? So it's not a business, it's not about profit and loss, it's about how you can deliver better services. So for them, the killer app started with the places they could immediately get generate an ROI. Uh, examples there would be uh, parking and being able to monetize parking, but not just generate more revenue for the city, actually generate better experiences for the citizens. Uh, street lighting is a very, very expensive proposition for cities today with LED, LED lighting as an opportunity to go in and drive tremendous savings. And, and, and what the companies are that are, are kind of smart about this, what they're doing, is they take that infrastructure investment, that first infrastructure investment, and then they're building platforms. So it's, it's justified on the first opportunity, but then they can build platforms and they can layer from parking to street lights to city services to serv service delivery and so on. So we're out working with a large variety of verticals and markets to, to find those killer applications, get them over the hump, and get them rolling on this, this really new era of IT. So do people need a, a kind of a platform for this? I mean, there's a, when we think about rolling out software, it's pretty fast, it's pretty easy. Um, a lot of people are now moving into hardware, moving into trying to do things with smart cities, with, with heavy industry. Um, so they need a, a platform of some sort to help, help roll these out. It's not as easy as software. Yeah, so, so uh, what's Cisco's role in all this? Uh, well, we're fortunate that we uh, serve the world's networking market, and we have about 70% market share in, in, in networking. And a lot of these applications are happening out at the edge of the network. That's where all the action is, whether you're a, a digital hospital or a factory or transportation systems or supply chain, you're either touching the service provider network or, or the private enterprise networks. You know, so we've seen the opportunity here to go out and, and build a platform. 
build a platform that enables clients to push those services and applications out to the edge of the network, connect their things to that network, and then build applications on, on top of that. Um, a lot of, obviously a lot of focus on things, but it's really about how you build applications that connect things, people, processes, data, seeing lots of examples of that here next door, but it's how do you build platforms that enable all of that to, all that to come together. So what advice do you have for the community that's here at, uh, here at Solid? Well, it, you know, the IoT platform has become kind of a, a comical phrase, you know, <laughs> Google IoT platform, you'll see, uh, you'll see a, a hundred companies that have the latest and greatest IoT platform. Everyone wants one. Everyone yeah. wants one. Uh, we don't even call ours a platform because it's, <laughs> it's, it's so comical. Uh, but, you know, we're, we believe that the unique value proposition for Cisco for the entrepreneurs in the audience is that we're extremely partnering centric and a partner oriented company. So what we want to do is we want to be a, uh, an opportunity, a channel, a gateway into the real world and into some customers that frankly can be harder to reach. Uh, utilities, automakers, manufacturing, transportation systems, rail systems, companies that can be traditionally harder to reach for an entrepreneurial startup. We're building solution stacks and building vertical programs that allow you to engage with us and go into, uh, into those organizations and in those industries. Uh, we view, we're very clear about what our role is. We think we can provide connectivity. We can provide some really interesting platform capabilities, like the ability to run your software out in our devices at the edge of the network. But at the same time, there's, there's tons of room for uh, applications, for ISVs, for hardware entrepreneurs. Uh, you know, this is an expanding universe here. We're not trying to cut up a, a, a shrinking pie. So there's lots of opportunity to, to partner, get engaged, and, and drive new opportunities. So it's a partnership platform. I mean, if you're, if, you're, uh, if, if you're a small startup and you have an idea that could go into an auto plant, you've probably taken it to an automaker and heard that, uh, you know, if, sorry, we're not interested. If the line goes down for 30 seconds, it costs a million dollars. But it's a, it's a way to work with, a, with an established uh, an established partner. Yeah, I, yeah. I work uh, with Ford Motor Company all the time. In fact, there might be some folks from Ford here today in, in the audience. <clears throat> what they're looking for is they're saying, uh, can I trust this, uh, this new company that's coming in to sell me? Is it something I can build in my environment that might, this environment might go for 10 or 15 years? And so there's a pretty high bar in terms of kind of confidence. So sometimes having somebody like Cisco that's a little more mature, has a little more staying power, uh, and can provide that kind of confidence, that'll help a lot in really accelerating, accelerating those opportunities. Uh, you know, I mean, we've created a, a structure to help people get engaged with that where we actually build, uh, we have built solutions in the case of manufacturing called Converge Plant-Wide Ethernet. It's really a solution to move manufacturing into the, into the networking era. And you can plug into that solution. We then take all those ISVs or all those partners and can present that out to our client base. So folks here who are interested, how do they uh, start to get involved with Cisco? Well, there's, there's four or five ways to get involved. So our developer program is called DevNet. That has all the resources. Probably one of the most interesting things you can access on DevNet is something called IOX. All of our networking devices, our ruggedized devices out there at the edge of the network, uh, they all have the ability to host uh, applications and workloads. And so with the developer program, DevNext, we have ISVs, in fact, you'll see some in, in the floor today, uh, that ha are using those edge platforms that can push their applications out, integrate them with their own hardware that can be connected to those devices. So DevNet's the place to start. We're also very active in the entrepreneurial community. Our Cisco Capital is one of the largest IoT investors. There's a whole slew of programs there, uh, entrepreneur and residence programs, uh, investment, uh, innovation centers around the globe where you can come in. Again, we bring our enterprise customers to see things, uh, see what's happening. But ultimately, where we really want people to go is to be building solutions in these key vertical areas, these key uh, market domains where you can plug in and then we can together go off in, into market. Excellent, I think this is really exciting. I mean, this is, a, this, is, um, this is the era now when we're seeing the emergence of hardware, of, of physical things as an agile 
discipline. And so, so bringing together these two communities, the, the heavy enterprise uh, applications and the people who are coming up with new stuff on a small scale is, is just really terrific. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really awesome. And, and there's you know, so much, uh, there's a lot of uh, excitement today around um, being the new technologies for manufacturing. The thing to understand is that you know, manufacturing is a hundred year old industry at, at, at scale. And every, every aspect of that business is ready and ripe to be revolutionized. And there's now a willingness and a hunger like never before. And you're seeing that same kind of, of hunger for new technologies and new ideas you know, across these tr very traditional businesses. So we think it's a great opportunity. We're happy to be here and sponsoring the conference and, and working with you all. Thank you so much. We're really grateful for Cisco's support here, and I encourage all of you to go and visit Cisco in the exhibit hall next door. They're right up front by the, uh, by the pop-up factory and by the spectacular car that you saw earlier. All three um, right there as you walk in. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks.